What is up, everybody? Justin here, aka No Good Comics, and we are uh, we're doing a live stream here on a Friday evening uh, to talk about X Men, X Men ninety seven. Going to do a review on episodes one and two, um, a little bit of a breakdown, and just generally sharing thoughts. So for anybody who is uh, tuning in, whether you're here live right now or you're about to watch this replay, just so you know, there will be spoilers. So um, and actually, maybe I'll put that at the bottom of a, of a bar or something here. Um, but there will be some spoilers, so I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Please, um, you know, turn this off now if you haven't watched uh, episodes one and two yet uh, and you want to see it for yourself. So um, otherwise, that's that's the warning. Um, that's why you're really going to get. Um, so good luck, everybody. Uh, it's not just me here, though. I got some friends with me. I'm just going to bring them all on um, at once. So we got we got John. We got Ryan. We got Fable. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Station, friends. Station. What is up? Station. Look, at this crew. Look at this crew. Motley, to um, say the least. <laughs> uh, we thank all got you. the memo. Look, we're dressed in black tonight. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, I know this was a little, a little bit last minute. John and I were kind of talking about it. I, um, my wife's actually out with some of her cousins tonight, so I was like, oh, now I can get actually, it. Now we get screening. it. No further explanation needed. Yep. He's like, my yeah, wife's out. I'm gonna just go YouTube all night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just talk X Men. Uh, <laughs> so this was uh, this is a perfect opportunity. So I appreciate you guys uh, jumping uh, jumping in here. Um, of course, for anybody who's watching, um, there everyone's links are in the description below. If you don't follow these gentlemen, you certainly should. Um, I like I said before, I, there is nothing official here other than this little intro I just did. Um, and other than that, um, we can kind of just jump into whatever. I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this, especially I think everybody here comes from um, just different uh, experiences with the original X-Men show or lack thereof. Um, and, you know, and obviously, like even just from different parts of, of where we're reading right now, like where I'm at right now with, with the X-Men stories versus where some of you guys are. So maybe this hits differently for each of you. I think we're all on the same track as far as how much we enjoyed it. I think we're, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody hated it here on this panel. Um, and I, I've just been hearing amazing things just in general, uh, you know, from the community and, um, you know, friends that I've been reaching out to about it. So, um, yeah, curious to hear your guys' thoughts. So I'm going to put this little warning again. This is going to spoilers for anybody who is planning to watch this uh don't go any further uh that's your last that's your last warning i'll set a bar up but uh um i guess general thoughts uh and i'm used to passing it to john because he's my my co-host so i'm gonna not pass it to him this time uh, <laughs> yeah. let, let's let's like i don't know let's let's just change yeah. here More chips. a little bit yeah oh, wow. uh, <laughs> all right um i feel like so, i'm in charge uh, <laughs> you're totally in charge right i love uh, it <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna pass it to Fable. Fable, uh, what do, what were your thoughts like? Just like whole, you know, big picture first, and we'll dive into like favorite, you know, favorite moments and stuff. But what did <clears> you think <throat> about the first two? Um, well, I'll say this: it's really hard to recapture a feeling or a moment. Mm. It's very difficult. And after watching two these two episodes, I can safely say that not only did they recapture the feeling in the moment but they evolved it and turned it into something of its own. Hmm. And I can't wait for this thing to continue. <laughs> Overall yeah. thoughts. Absolutely. Excellent. Love it. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Uh, Ryan, what about you, man? What, what were your initial thoughts here? Same thing. So I didn't know if when I went into the show, if this was going to still be because I love the original show so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, is this still going to be a show for me? Am I still the demographic for this show? Right. Um, I am. And uh, I love the fact that this show, the original and this new incarnation, is not scared. They don't have to go, oh, our characters might not know who this character is, even if it's just a cameo. So we have to introduce them first before we can show. They don't care about that. They didn't care about it back then. They put them in their original comic book costumes. Hmm. I love that. And... My general consensus goes with most people, which was the first episode was really, really good. But the second episode was an OMG. Yeah. yeah. And really set up our season, I think. I am totally with you there. Yeah, well well said. And I want to get more into um, kind of like you mentioned a little bit more of the the comparing the previous years to this year and stuff like that, too. Um, but, John, I'm going to pass it to you. What, what are your what were your overall thoughts here? I, I legitimately was not planning to watch it. And I, I, I've mentioned this to a few friends. I was like, 
Look, like I've tried this with G.I. Joe. I've tried this with Transformers. That none of them held up for me. I tried rewatching these cartoons as an adult, and I, I did not enjoy the rewatch. They did not hold the same nostalgia. Mm. The kid in, in, in John could not find the joy in those products anymore. Mm. Um, and I didn't want to ruin my joy of remembering this animated series. So I was like, I'm not going to watch it. And then I started hearing some things. And I was like, I woke up early that morning, and I was like, all right, I'll just see. Let's just watch. <laughs> this is Steven's first one. You know, you, and that theme music hits, and I was like, okay, okay. And it was so good. I just, I almost didn't, I forgot to like make my daughter's breakfast. I was like, I, just, I gotta do the next one. I just gotta keep going. Um, so, Parenting out the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was to exactly what Fable was saying. It hit a bullseye that I didn't think existed anymore for me. Mm. And, and, and I was, absolutely floored by how much fun i had with this i legit felt like the only animated com uh animated cart you know cartoon show from when i my youth that still held up was the batman animated series other than that nothing has held up and yeah. this was this was an absolute grand slam that is awesome i'm glad you gave it a shot uh i didn't yeah. know that you were i'd be you know, so yeah I, i'm so happy that. that i made the choice yeah I, I don't think i'd let you i think i'd somehow <laughs> give it a few years right? somehow. Yeah. yeah i would like I, you know hit up charlie and have her you know you know what it. sold me ultimately i think was the when they released the names of all the episodes for the season mm. and life death and life death part two were both on oh. there which are yeah. some of my favorite and we can talk about inspirations and stuff but when i saw mm. that and you and i had just Red life death for Omni X Men, and I was like, okay, now I kind of gotta because it's like right where we are basically in mm -hmm. in this fourth omnibus. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's a great point. Um, I I'm with you guys. I, I I have to say I don't come from the nostalgic feeling of the show as much. I do remember watching a little bit when I was younger, but not as much as I you know was into other shows at the time. So the I really can't recall like anything from from that original series um so i don't think it hit me in that way but um just from you know yeah the fandom of what we're reading right now the books that we're at right now where that ties in uh some of the stuff that's you know technically ahead of time ahead of where we're at and i and you know some things i kind of already know or knew um but also just getting some of these characters that um you know that, that we haven't that i haven't seen or read as much as not counting the hickman stuff um you know being part of this i think overall i mean i loved it and actually i watched it twice now um and going through the second time i actually loved it even more um the second time through and ryan to your point yeah like the second episode is like a movie almost like it, it yeah. just it hit home in so many different ways and it, and it was just so structured it was so nothing was too forced and yet a lot of stuff went on which I, I feel that sets up our entire season I think yeah. those are the that episode yeah. is the thread of our entire season that they're going to pull from yep yeah um so yeah i'm i'm just i'm i'm excited for for more of this and i it makes me want to go back and watch the originals just to just to rewatch, you know just because i don't i really don't recall a lot of it um you know oh, i um, went i went and watched the last episode of season five of x-men 92 just oh yeah so, yeah you could just do that if you wanted to okay you could just yeah, watch yeah, that yeah. last episode yeah to know you know what happened to charles and then you're right. good for the rest of the for this one yeah right right okay cool cool and and i mean i kind of started to guess a little bit um and someone i talked to at work had um you know hinted a little bit more towards kind of where he's at right now we could talk about that too um before we go any further i, I want to say hello to the chat did not uh address the chat earlier uh we had shop hanging out before we even got started so what's going on shop for comics he says evening y'all hey. Hope they bring in Forge to give Storm her powers back like they did in the Fall of the Mutant storyline. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I, I mean, um, you know, I know we're, this is, I was I was hoping we'd see Forge, actually, in, in just, you know, these two episodes. I wasn't sure if that was going to be something that they that they were doing once I, I mean, now that I see where they're going, maybe we will. Um, but uh, good to see you, Shop. Uh, we got Kevin Unchby in comics. Hello, hello. Uh, we got Stu hanging out as well. Good to see you, Stu. He just posted... Um, earlier today, the executioner, a bunch of uh, like uh, the '90s um, yeah. cards that he had, the the collector's cards, cool. and uh, the, one of the issues that he was featured in. So I thought that was a, a cool little, um, you know, flash uh, uh, back flash to uh, to to that character, which I'm uh, yeah not very familiar with executioner. Um, so that was cool. We got Conlon Comics in the chat as well. What's up, Conlon? I know he also felt very similar to kind of how how we're talking right now. He was somebody I've been kind of going back and forth with writing paragraph after paragraph on, on <laughs> some of this stuff um so yeah good to see you as well 
Um, but yeah, so um, I, wh where you guys want to go with this? I'm not sure. Um, I, we could say favorite moments. Uh, I mean, th I've, obviously, there's like a lot, and we don't have to go, um, you know, play by play here. But uh, I know we kind of established. It seems like second episode was a bit more of our favorites. But um, I'm going to throw this out here, and then you guys can run with it. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't ready, or I, I didn't know about the Cyclops um, moonwalk. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what we're calling that. The, the second, I, like that, I was, I was like, whoa, he could do that. Like, I, it was really cool. And I have to say, JP's not gonna be happy about this, but um, Cy, I, I really like Cyclops in the first <laughs> issue, and I, I thought that out of all the voices, I thought his was like perfect. I thought that yeah. his was the like not at all. It was just like so fitting, and just that's what I picture with Cyclops. And okay, let's. Well, Let's acknowledge that for a second because the original voice actor for Cyclops passed away. Wow. So this oh, is okay. not the original. There there are many original wow. voice actors in this I series. I kind of want to I kind of want to run through them all if you want. Yeah. I I, I, I researched it today because I was I've been discussing yeah, this with I have my a list lot too. Lately. Oh, there it is. Yeah. We, two of the voice actors died. The other one was Magneto. Magneto. Mm, wow. So were, those two are yeah. new performers that are replacing. Oh. But okay. but for Cyclops, Ray Chase, who's taken that role, sounds just so yes. like him. Like just like him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. It's, and then yeah. on top of that, they they went out of their way as a production to ensure that all the original actors could either come back and re play the same part or get other parts instead if they were unable to continue. So it's been 30 something years. Right. A lot of their voices have changed. They're, they're you know, they don't sound exactly the same. So in the case of Jean Grey, she's now playing the Valerie Cooper role. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that voice might sound a little familiar to you. And then they've replaced the the Jean Grey part. Same with Gambit. He is he has been replaced by a new role. And then he's playing, I think, Senator Kelly or something led later. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. and, and then I think, was the other one Morph? Was that the other one? Yeah, that they Morph did has been on? replaced plus Jubilee. Yes. Oh, yeah. In Jubilee's case, they felt like they wanted an Asian American actress mm -hmm. to play that part. Yeah, and so right. they wanted to replace that actress. Right. Um, but all the original actors were still given opportunities to play other pivotal parts great. Uh, if that occurred or if they felt they couldn't do the handle the workload. Right. Because okay. age wise or whatever. Right. Um, but the arrest of the pivotal you know, characters, Hank McCoy. Hank is still hank and wolverine still wolverine and storm was still storm storm yeah. was still she's yeah she's going strong she's, that yeah, yeah she's fantastic yeah. Yeah. Wow. so the and and then uh the guy who plays cable uh is coming back i think as well because mm. uh, mm -hmm. he was he did cable originally <clears throat> so yeah i so, was really so excited it, about that the, incidentally that the guy so that's many playing, of them came back the guy that's playing cable is chris mm. potter who was one of the gambits there were yeah. two different gambits during the original run yeah. He's mm -hmm. one of the gambits. And I think the gambits sound like the original gambits too. I would not have known. Honestly. Yeah, I wouldn't have known either. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I know that some people are feeling like like I Durs was really like feeling mm -hmm. like this is a whole new cast. Like I don't the, the voices don't sound right. He was really upset with the voice acting. And I was like, I think it's all the same people. They've just, you know, it's been 30 yeah, years. I think older, the age, yeah. the age is there a little bit. I, and of I, course I the two you. that passed away. I would have believed you if you told me Wolverine was different because he sounded kind of It's strange. still him. Yeah, it's still the yeah. same guy again 30 years <laughs> was, later. But yes, yeah, I was wondering. Was but, yeah. but what Conlin is saying in the comments is exactly what I've been going through. So okay. um, the voice of Rogue is the original. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Lenore uh, Zahn, I think it is. And okay. she is the original. It sounds like her voice is pitched, though, or some type mm. of post-production on it. And that does take me out a bit, although she is the original. Did you guys have that too? Because Conlon and I are on the same page yeah, with that. She sounds a little off. She sounds older. She sounds none older. Of them, yeah. I will say none of the voices took me out of it. And none of okay. them distracted me. And none of them bothered me. Right. Even if I felt like there was a difference, mm -hmm. I... It was it was absolutely marginal at best, and uh, but I but I, I won't I'm not trying to dismiss anybody who felt differently. I just for me like I was way too wrapped up in enjoying what was happening. With me, yeah. it was a question of when Rogue spoke. I'm like, is that the original or not? That's where I kept going back to. I'm like, it sounds like the original, and it doesn't at the same time. Sure. And that's the only one that I kept going back on. Yeah, I mean, if they're doing some post production there, I mean that I could. I don't that. know that for sure. It just it's yeah. just a theory. Yeah. Well, I know Durs was bothered by Logan, and that was his big one. Was he's like, that's definitely not the same guy. I was like, 
it's the same guy. Yeah. Like <laughs> he's just 30 something years older. I mean, what 92 to 2024. It's, you know, it's yeah. been a while. Oh, yeah. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Um, I, the one, I, so I actually, there was one I felt took me a little bit more out of it. I agree with the rogue. I mean, again, I don't have it to compare to, but just sure. in general, I don't know um, if that, I don't know if that was like the rogue I was kind of picturing. I think it's, I, I don't know. I didn't even know how to describe it, but I, I don't know that that one was a little off for me, but the other one that, and I'm trying to come around to it, um, it was Storm. I actually, and again, it's not from a guy that's not hooked on what Storm sounded like in the originals. You're lucky this isn't on my stream. I'm just telling you. Right <laughs> He'd be gone. He'd be out of here. I just feel like she sounds much, much older. And to me, mm. Storm is not that old. And I know the actual actress is older. And that sure. makes sense that her voice sounds older. Maybe she was like perfect at that at that time in the, in the 90s. Oh, uh, sure. You yeah. know? So I think that was... I don't know. For me, it 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 put pulled me out for a second, especially in the beginning. But I like slowly got used to certain moments of it and like just okay. hearing her talk more. So I'm like open to it. And it's not I don't like it's not I can't stand it or anything. I'm I'm definitely open to it. I think I just need to get adjusted more to it as I continue sure. to hear it. But sure. it definitely is not what I was envisioning. Um, I mean, she's she's definitely memeable. Like we've always made fun of her, how, mm -hmm. how she howls everything. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've always made fun of it but yeah, i'm yeah. glad that it's still her though that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right <laughs> no we're not hear that <laughs> that's dude's going <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he means to be booing Justin, but that. Uh, <laughs> well, someone that told at work I talked to was like, "Yeah, well, you know, um, at least th this person's always kind of envisioned her more as like Ant Storm, and I don't know if like I see her as as the Ant. I, like, yes, she's a leader and all, but I don't know, like." I just think old, like that's older. Like that. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know. Understandable. Like, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. But everyone else, uh, you know, I thought was was uh, you know really good. And like I said, out of everybody, I thought Cyclops was like yeah. uh, spot. And, and talk about Cyclops, man! I thought I, I agree with you. I think he had the best moments in both yeah. episodes, yeah. and yeah. I think he had the most character development and, and growth sure. in both. Yep. Of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they gave if, him. If a you lot. were on the fence about him. Mm -hmm. You might think he's a little bit, of, you know, you might understand them more. Yeah, yeah. watching these two. Well, and I think the, the the era that Justin and I have been reading is not his like high point as a character. I think definitely, right. you know, obviously earlier and then somewhat later, you get better Cyclops storylines and in X Factor as well. But the stuff we're reading is kind of shifting away from the original team. A lot of what Claremont was doing, and in that way, I think he is he's given short shrift, as it were. Hmm. Except Tony. Tony, you're on John's shirt right now. <laughs> this guy. What you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Says Justin, Justin sees Storm as a sexy older woman. I, I yeah. will. I will list my one complaint if I you mean, want. Let's hear. Um, it. I obviously I love the original Claremont issues in '94, '95, all the stuff with Nefario and fighting the mountain base. Cyclops has fallen from the sky, and I'm like, oh, they're recreating this amazing moment. And he does something that defies all logic. And <laughs> this, oh, there's I was, no that I was wondering. No that. way his power solves that problem, and there's no way it <laughs> ends with a hero landing on one knee. Like the whole thing. Yeah. So entertaining, sure. Kids cartoon, okay, but yeah. like ridiculous. Like on, on that level, was comic book as hell, though. It, man. Oh, it, it, yeah, it, was. it was so far past comic book for me because in the comics, when that scene happened, he needed Storm to carry him. Uh, yeah, so yeah, right. that yeah, moment right. is identical in the comics. They're all falling. The ships exploded and Cyclops is selfless. He's like, save everybody else. And he's like, I hope she comes back for me. And he's almost going to die. And right. she right. does come back and saves him. I'll say it's 90s comics as hell. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Give him a couple of pouches maybe. And then it would really. I was be wondering that though. When he did that, I was like, like scratching my head. Like, oh, the physics of that make no sense. No. Yeah. You're right. There's yeah, no right. logic to it. Style but at the same time, I get it. Like it looked freaking cool and he comes up yeah. with the hero landing with the one knee and it's like okay i get it you know i almost want a deadpool to like <laughs> walk by in the background and be like he's gonna do a hero landing, Here's a hero landing. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know you know um, it was the moment that bothered me a little bit when jubilee started dancing i was like what the hell is she doing <laughs> oh, really? I, like it. I, I love it, it. <laughs> like, doo, 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 what doo. else I, hey i mean but when jubilee was dancing and she was using her powers i'm like 
why couldn't we have had the Disco Dazzler? There it is. That's <laughs> because that's wanted, what that's she was doing. On the stage. She was doing Dazzler's bit, you know? I wanted her to come in and perform. Or Morph could have come through as Dazzler for on right. roller skates or something. That would have been... Yeah. Yeah, I could totally see that. Yeah. Um, one other thing with uh, the, the scene of, of Scott and the team getting... Or having to, you know, jump out of the um, yeah. out of the Blackbird. Um, the Blackbird gets destroyed, right? Like that. A lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, like mid fall, like, like Scott's like, or even when they land after, he's just like very happy, and he's like, yeah, all right, like right on, like that was freaking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, hey, and I'm like, you just that's like a multi million dollar vehicle that you just got. <laughs> yeah. Xavier's gonna be very oh, upset. There's no insurance on that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Other other than Angel, like, I mean, apparently they money, weren't right? spending I mean, any of the money though, because Magneto said. uh, you know, you you never use Xavier's considerable fortune to help <laughs> that, yourself. Yeah. That's true. That is true. <laughs> so. But now yeah. I'm like, I'm like, is there going to be another Blackbird? Like, it, there may not be another Blackbird until like at least the last episode or even. Magneto's further. not going to sign the check on that. No. Like, no, <laughs> it's my money. It's my money now. It's my money. Yeah. He'll just put it together himself. He'll just take <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. He'll rebuild it. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, no, um, no sandwiches either. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, like, the crash it, had nothing to do with it had sandwiches. an opportunity they did this wasn't, yeah. wasn't <laughs> they went a uh, different route <laughs> uh all right some favorite moments here ryan what what, what is uh what's something that stood out to you or you know that uh, that you want to okay about? my absolute favorite moment uh and i do want to circle back to episode one at some point because i think we're yeah, going to get is. so focused on episode two because it was so much meatier yeah. but my favorite moment does come from episode two and it's the very end there's this knock on this door who is it Mm -hmm. There stands Jean Grey. Why Cyclops is standing next to Jean Grey? So this has to be Madeline. Yeah. Right. That, oh, this yeah. has to be Madeline. Well, or I thought it might have been um, Rachel. Oh, Rachel Dinners. Yeah. Mm. No, but I, I legit thought it could be Rachel because they don't. Well, yeah, they don't uh, say. Uh, it, Morph is the one that says it. He says her name. He says Jean. Like mm -hmm. question mark Jean. I'm gonna say it's Madeline you know? because the Wave Two figures just came out, and Madeline Pryor is one of them. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So that was my <laughs> favorite moment. I'm basing so. it off what we just read, John, and that's like you know, you know, she does well, come back. So that's yeah. the '80s stuff, though. Is is Madeline? Is Do Madeline they, Jean? Is Madeline? Oh, okay. You right. know, right. are, how are they connected? Oh my no, God, no, but she, I mean Rachel. Yeah, no, Rachel's but I'm saying like okay. they're using the bigger story arc of like oh, okay. Okay. Madeline marries Scott and and is pregnant yeah. and 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 Scott's still thinking about Jean and they're kind of the same and they have some weird backstory stuff. That's so it's kind of it's kind of what they're playing with. I have a feeling. I got gotcha. you. Mm. Uh, quick hello. To so Ken. I would I would yeah I would assume it's green. It's a black whether call it Goblin Queen or whatever. Right. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, Fable. Uh, what what's a, what's a part that stood out to you? Oh, uh, it absolutely is when Magneto takes the, uh, the the tribunal or whatever it was that they were judging him and has freaking executioner on a goddamn like disc mm -hmm. and is like, floating like, them to space. Yeah. It's just so magnificent mm -hmm. that it's like, it's so magnificent that it's like, why can't we get this right in live action? Right. Why is this simply drawn cartoon giving me all the feels? Yeah. That I need from seeing this in real life. Because well, they would yeah, be that... too scared to put him in that costume. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was rocking that yeah. up, boy. He was rocking that up. Dude, I, I was trying to look for my copy earlier. I couldn't find <laughs> it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Newsy and direct. Nice. I got this is this is this is my one of my favorite single comic books of all time. Like I absolutely love this book. Dude, I want to I want to read it. I I like want to uh it's, jump in and read so it. But... And obviously yeah. they did they did a lot of good justice to it like Fable saying. Nice. Yeah, man. It it just it, and it looks so good, man. One of the things that totally took me by surprise was because I thought they were somehow going to um trying to match the original animation. And mm. and let me tell you guys, I went back and watched the first 9 episodes of season 1. People oh. say that the animation got bad in like season three or something like that for whatever reason no that thing was bad from the very freaking beginning it was oh. terrible from episode one <laughs> um, and i <laughs> thought they were trying to match that and in a sense they took the feel of it in a way but man they the animation is fantastic in this show here i love the updated style to it it looks so good so yeah uh -huh. that scene just shows the upgrade in animation yeah 
And to that point, one of my favorite parts that just gave me the absolute chills was um, was in, at the end of episode one um, when Wolverine, when they're going after Master Mold as that final and the music kicks in and yeah, Gambit yeah. lights up his claws and he like throws the staff and explodes. You know, he go, uh, has Wolverine go up and just go right through the head of the guy of the of the, the main sentinel like that to me um, gave me chills because I was like yeah. it was just. The music it was the team they were working together it was not anyone focused like you know beast uh took over one of the sentinels like he went into the body of one of them and just started yep. you know uh i thought that was really really cool um so that to me especially as an introduction episode like was just so perfect yeah. um you know and i think they lined it up nicely too that we didn't necessarily have need to get that heavy episode right off the bat you know Let's sprinkle in and just show what the team does. Let's yeah. also show, um, you know, where the world is right now and how mutants mm -hmm. are treated. Let's also show how some mutants are struggling with it, like Roberto. Like, all that stuff was all in one for this episode. So I thought it was just a nice, you know, trend. And then, of course, the action scene. Like, all that. Like, to your point, Fable. Like, just love how they showed all that at the end. I thought that was yeah. really What's really great, cool. too, is for, like, returning fans. Like, because you say you didn't, you didn't really rock with this too much when you were younger. For the returning yeah. fans... I loved, okay, remember what I said about the animation? Like, it felt like they were trying to match it, but at the same time, it's upgraded. Oh, they yeah. kind of did the same thing with the, the show itself. Like, that first mm. episode, like you said, it's a return to form. It's like, oh, the familiarity for us, you know, for mm. us. Guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, this is great. Oh, this guy, okay. And Here's then the at. second episode hits, and shit gets real. Yeah. It just gets real, and it's like, wait a minute. This is way heavier than the 92 show and i love how it snuck it in there just right, like it snuck right. in that great animation yeah so yeah. so jumping back to that first episode of, of the new season that this this episode has so many throwbacks to the very first episode of the original 92 series they're fighting sentinels again which is the very first thing that they did in that episode Question. there is a, there's a line of dialogue that is the same in oh. each episode with cyclops Oh, where he really? says, like, I'm ready to surrender. Not. He said that <laughs> oh, in both that episodes. Oh, did he say that to you? He I like did. I, nice. Um, so, um, in, that, in that first one, were they in the mall? Was that, like, part of the mall yeah. scene with Storm? Mm -hmm. and, okay. Yeah. I actually feel like I randomly watched that probably, like, a year and a half ago randomly. So I do. Does a mall baby eat chili fries? <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know. <laughs> he has no idea what I'm talking about. Nope. Um. John, what about you? Was uh, something that stood out to you? Obviously, uh, I know there's a lot of scenes here, but I mean, another, another favorite. I'm glad Fable mentioned the Magneto speech up in outer space because that would have been right up there for me. But I'll, I'll go with the one that basically got me teary, which was that storm letter at the end. I mean, that, yeah. yeah. I don't know that I can rewatch it. I'm worried that I'm going to be an absolute baby uh, hearing Gene pull out the letter and how, hearing yes. Storm's voice going through it. That was so well done. That was beautiful. Yeah. But I for can't me, be emotional, or if it's the hot chips right now, well, maybe it'll, it'll be <laughs> you're like it's. <laughs> I, from, I guess that. not. I guess not. <laughs> that for, for me, that moment when Storm couldn't feel the storm itself outside, and sh she's like, she realized even herself that she's now a foreigner to to something that was so normal and and just like breathing to her. Right. That got me almost more than the letter did. Although the letter was very touching. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Screw you, Tony. Screw you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh Colin says, uh, yeah, lots of similarities That's with Julie and Do you think that they're setting up a little love interest with the two of them? Kind of like this so. is this oh, is yeah. the new Kitty Colossus. Yeah, when oh, she yeah. said uh when she said, Oh, well, he said here's my card, and she goes, Oh, hot, rich and hot, or something like that. And he's <laughs> like, and single, don't forget single. Like, yeah. I'm like oh, that, uh, <laughs> he got her hook right there. Like, that's, yeah. that's and, like, and they're <laughs> setting up um Magneto and, and Rogue, man. Yeah, and what, about, what the about them? Wait, so that that's happened. me. That so that's crazy. Like, I was like, what's what's going on? Like at first when they first yeah. showed a hint, and and um mm -hmm. and he says, you know, or he starts to bring it up the first time around, and she's like, Oh, that's old, like whenever bringing that up or whatever. But to me, at that moment, I was still thinking like they teamed up together or they were friends or whatever, but like as it went on and we sh and the glove came off and all this other stuff, like sounds so dirty, right? Like, oh, the glove <laughs> yeah. came off. Like, that's when you know it's getting serious. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I was like, oh my god, like there's some, you know, kind of shady. Yeah. I don't know, like I, I just some something. You that, remember that uh, um old that that famous Jim Lee cover with Magneto on it and Rogue it in her Savage Land, Savage oh, yeah, Land, yeah. 
and she's hugging them and stuff. That? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. when all that happened. Well, I actually, that, that kind of crossed my mind um, yeah. earlier. I was thinking about, I was like, there's that, but I didn't even know, I don't even know what happens in that. So I just thought, oh, like they're a team, you know, they're, they're villains yeah. together or whatever. And, and they showed, they showed Gambit at the end. Like, yes. I think he saw them, like yeah. kind of, yeah. or mm-hmm. saw her coming out of the room or something. His girl coming out of it. Really? Yeah. Room, like, you know, dude, like yeah. that's gotta, that's gonna be a, a stab in the gut to any man, you know? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Your girl oh, yeah. that needle through. <laughs> uh, I thought that was brutal. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Savage Lands. Yeah, hopefully we get... I don't know if we'll get some Savage Lands, but we'll see. Um, the other thing I was going to point out was uh, a funny part. I mean, I, I was go. packing up. There um, it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, here. Let me, yeah. let me lay up there for oh, a second. Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay, so yeah. Those Savage this. Lands were never the same. Never the same, <laughs> man. That's my favorite Rogue, man. Yeah. Hands down. But whatever happens in Savage Lands, we it yeah. stays there. Right? <laughs> it's true. We don't talk about it. Um, the one of my favorite parts was when Wolverine uh, or when Jean goes into labor and she goes, "Oh my God, Logan, he's here!" And he's like, "Who's here?" And he like, he's yeah, "Oh yeah, the yeah. Lips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's just nuts. It's just such a perfect like him being so over the top, tight on you know, like well, you know, ripped from- I was laughing <laughs> to myself because I'm like, I'm logic brain. John is like. It's so funny to have Wolverine be the one there for her. Yeah. But of all the X-Men to pick to stay behind, that's the guy you choose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a freaking doctor, a biogeneticist doctor yeah. who could stay behind. Like, Beast can't stay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, need, you need Beast yeah. on this mission to fight Magneto. Wolverine, like, Wolverine could stay, like, could go, and Beast could stay. Like, it doesn't make yeah. it, like, then yeah. you wouldn't need to, like, give rogue the power to deliver a baby like right. beast could handle it he's he's fine right. <laughs> but we got that amazing funny scene so i'm down <laughs> uh so great it's so accurate i felt like uh <laughs> um i was trying to think what there was um hold on i i had, I had written down notes because i get all these notes on. man you sent me this email of notes and then it's gone. <laughs> We're gonna talk about this and then this. What and happened? This and this and this. I had to get my glasses out. I was like trying to read this. Like it's really tiny. The cl- the cl- <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, oh, I, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the end of the first one when we get we get like a cliffhanger when Magneto interrupts. You know, they or the alarm goes off and everybody yeah. runs up to to Professor. But right before that, when they're on the basketball mm-hmm. court, um, right, that's that scene where where yep. the uh, where they're about to make an announcement, basically yeah. right? that they're le- and Gene and Scott are gonna leave. Well. Is it though? Because they said that, but then it then it once they like they were denied, they like denied it in front of them, and even right. Jubilee was like, "Yeah, but they're part of the you know the beginning of the team. Like, what, what, where where would we be without them?" Made me think like, "Oh, maybe there's something else too, or maybe there's something different that they were going to change their mind to." Because because just Jean kind of agreed, like she was like, "No, like we're not leaving. Just we want to." Seemed like she was like ha- ready to go, and the, no, she, he was the, the one. Totally, but but in that moment when they get addressed by it, she reacts yeah. differently, or she. Or, well, you've she seen it twice. It. I haven't seen it twice. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, anyways, I just wanted. I was wondering if like I yeah if I missed something or because it seemed like flip flopped a little bit between. Feels like I missed something. I don't know. The beginning <laughs> and then not. Um. Anyways, that that was a, that was one of my notes. That was one of my notes. <laughs> I love <laughs> seeing the. I love seeing the picture of the original X Men as much as they showed it. You know the the oh, original yeah. Stan Lee Jack Ooh, Kirby team. Yeah. You know, um, or you mean like when the when the picture on the, on the wall, yeah. the picture yeah. on the wall, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah basketball. And even Jean acknowledging her Marvel Girl costume the last time she wore it was oh, yeah. with the Phoenix. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. that is that was so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Jay Nunya in the chat saying ten out of ten. Out of ten. Hell yeah, Jay. Hard but what argue. about the episodes? I know the group is, but what about <laughs> ten out of ten. That's a good point. It's a good point. Uh, <laughs> okay, completely off topic, but if I don't bring this up now, I, I, I probably won't get to it. Yeah, anyway. How come Valerie Cooper looks like Liz Cheney? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you thinking. guys see that? Yeah, she I looks did. like Liz Cheney. I did not. I just thought Valerie Cooper looked like Valerie Cooper. <laughs> she looks like Liz Cheney. All right. I'm going to get a side by side comparison from you later. Okay. <laughs> just saying. Um, so, wasn't Cooper not. Well, I guess she was. I guess she kind of. She was it. involved in the losing of Storm's powers, right? She was mm-hmm. in that story. She was the one yeah. that, like, but was she was still very in much Congress to... getting the gun and oh, then, yeah, 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 right, right. But she does turn a little. It, and then yeah. Forge is like yelling at her on the phone constantly about what went wrong. Right, and... right, right. That's where we start to see because she starts to realize when in the helicopter when Gyrick's like, 
she's like, all right, they want him, you know, dead or, or you know, they they want him alive or whatever. And Guy right. was like, well, we'll see or whatever. That's where I think Valerie Cooper started to turn right. good and good in the sense of like, you know, hey, I'm just she's very honest and she's trying to you know stand by her. Uh, she doesn't want just anyone to die. She wants right. to be proper or so. I guess that does fit kind of what where she was in the show. Yeah, and instead of. Uh getting guy rich shooting the bullet we get executioner which i thought was kind of cool yeah a little yeah a blend between the two of them yeah obviously to... like taking the classic stories and right. setting them within a universe that has a completely different cast of characters at completely different stages of their lives right the, mm -hmm. the team that we're getting in the in the story right now is not the x-men team that is there for the trial of magneto right, or yeah. storm losing her powers there's a very different team i mean just yeah. just throwing in gambit and rogue the, at their height of their powers is already shifting a bunch of stuff. Then you throw mm -hmm. in Bishop in there and all these other things. It's and you're mm -hmm. getting rid of other characters. It that naturally creates a different canvas. Mm -hmm. But I'm impressed more than anything how they were still able to stay true mm -hmm. to those stories yeah. with all these changes. I, it was perfect the way Storm loses her powers in this. Yeah. And it it, it didn't seem it fit the universe right. they've got just as well as Claremont's version fit his universe. Right. Like right. I thought it was really well handled and right. felt completely authentic. That's why I can't believe like they fit so much in this second yeah. episode, and, and oh, it was, yeah. but it was just perfect. It really yeah. was like it really was. You know, I mean, not... that was that was one of the coolest things about the original series was how they took so much stories and mashed them up in some way that it made sense. Still, yeah. that was one of the yeah. the achievements of that original series. Oh, from the, yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Because they were switching out Kitty for Jubilee, Jubilee and they were yeah. they were running some of the new mutant story characters into this story, and then they were yeah. changing out the they wanted the 90s team that was super popular, uh, right. but they wanted the 70s and 80s stories. Story, so yeah. it's like right. changing those things around is not simple. What's up, right. Nigel? Hey Nigel. Oh, desired comics in the chat. What's up, Nigel? Hey, um, I like uh so I hope to see more Bishop. Um, I know, you know, I feel like his parts were somewhat limited, uh, but it made sense where I guess where it was, and I'm sure we'll get more. But he, um, I, I like where they talked about futures, and they're like, yeah, Mag they're like, wait, Magneto running the. He's like, I've seen a lot of futures, but I don't want to <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of crazy. And this is all. I mean, we yeah, John, you know, we, we haven't read this far. Like, I as far yeah. as the idea, We're of right? Magneto, it's, we are right there, neck and neck with the show, right? This so, part. like, I like had heard rumors or kind of general plot things that happened with Magneto, but it really, to me, is still very new. The idea yeah. of him, you know, running the show and and being good or, or yeah. not being good, but be you know, being getting along with the team and trying to do what Charles wants and right. all this other stuff. Right. So it's still very very new. Uh, See what Carson, what is going on, man? Yeah, and I think that's that stuff with Magneto. That story arc is probably going to be the one that is somewhat spoilery for you, just because they're going to give you hints. Well, even if they're doing it in their own, you know, format, their own but, style. Yeah. yeah. But the storm stuff that we're going to get through this story arc, obviously, we're getting uh, life death one and life death two, and you and I are going to read both of those in this omnibus. So yeah, true. her arc is is exactly where we're reading right now. Yeah. Right. That's perfect. Um, anybody know? Is it ten? Are they doing ten episodes? Is that the the goal for this season? Mm -hmm. And weren't the old ones like twenty some twenty? Yeah, but seasons you're getting changed ten. a lot. A lot. Yeah, we're from, we're getting ten, but the 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 last three episodes are a three parter. Mm. So yeah. I don't know if they're doing like if they're finishing this season mm -hmm. with a like classic Marvel event, like an X Men event. Uh, I don't know. It's called the the three parter is called Tolerance is Extinction, which could be the Extinction Agenda storyline. Mm -hmm. It could be something in in connection to the Mutant Massacre storyline. If that's if they're sticking in that eighties era, I don't know if that that they did that storyline in the original run. Mm. Uh, Chris says uh, it's a strange that Bishop is just kind of hanging around. We don't see him in episode two. I think he'll be back in episode. Three. Yeah, I, I'm sure they'll mm -hmm. kind of re. Rejoin. I mean, we didn't we didn't get Nightcrawler at all. Yeah, what the heck? You know, so. But you know what? We are. I was we are the season. Oh yeah, absolutely. We are. It's already been. He's the the announcement of who's voicing him has been announced. So uh, okay, we are getting him. Well, so I, again, this this is out of context for me, but what like is he? Was he like not around in the end of the second? He was, he was around. He was uh, around in the original series, okay. but not as a regular. Oh, okay. Wow, man, that's my guy right there um colossus too he wasn't he yeah. wasn't around we just had um, the the cameos of colossus in this so 
Oh yeah. Oh, um, that brings. Um, so the when, other one. When I'm, morph, when morph turns into all yes. the other guys. So morph in general, like I'm very mm -hmm. new to morph, and uh, um, I think of like, um, I mean, I, I get morph actually turns into them, but like the idea of his powers kind of remind me of Sync from the newer yeah. stuff that we're reading. Okay. Um, See, it reminds me of Mystique. And that he could pull stuff. Oh, right. Oh, and that too. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But like, so I, I question um, just in general, like, you know, how far can his, his powers go? Like how strong, like if he takes someone or if he's like using someone's power, like Colossus, does, does he become the strongest person in the world at that point? Like, or, or, or so you're yeah, saying, does he just look like him or does he also have their powers as well? Yeah, right. But, but like, he, I guess to a degree he has their powers, right? Cause like yeah. Archangel, he's flying, like all this. Right. <clears throat> He recreates yeah. phys their physicality, as far as I understand, but he doesn't necessarily have complete control over their abilities, as, oh, if okay. I remember correctly. He right. first appeared in the show. Like, that was his first yeah. appearance as a character ever. Oh, and then yeah. later... He, he wasn't a comic book that came... He was never a comic book oh, character oh, first. Okay, so they wrote yeah. him on that. They invented him for the show, and, and the first season is really about him, because... You know, he his death and the, he, he dies, and they and the X Men have to deal with that. And then they find out he didn't die, that he's still alive, and he's kind of been right. twisted into a Brotherhood of Evil Mutants kind of character. And mm. so he's got a really interesting arc across the early yeah. seasons of the show. Yeah. Then he, and then he, he became so popular that later they became they yeah. made him a comic book character. Okay. But in the cartoon, he eventually becomes good again. That, yeah. There's uh. a scene in the uh, last episode of X Men '92. Okay. where uh charles is dying and he has all the x-men surrounding him and he goes to them each one by one talking about how much he loves them like one by mm -hmm. one and they all start crying even wolverine starts crying you gotta, you gotta watch it oh wow yeah he starts telling them all how much he mean they mean to him um and he gets to morph and he's like I i'm so glad you're back home morph and Morph just breaks down, like uh, you know. What See, I mean? Justin, really what you have yeah. to remember is Morph yeah. felt like he was left behind on purpose. Right. Uh, okay. They thought he was dead, and they didn't know at the time. So for him, he just felt like he was abandoned. So there okay. was a yeah, lot right. of I can't trust them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want revenge on them. Got it. Typical mix-up. Yeah, <laughs> Manny says Gambit's gonna be the new meme. He's gonna be laying in a bed holding a picture of more of Rose. <laughs> yep. Manny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. She done run off with that long haired white, uh, <laughs> long long mane of white hair. You know? yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was there the the back and forth, like the bickering between Magneto and Cyclops, and I loved so many of the lines, and I, I wrote like a couple brief ones down, but just like. In the beginning, when he said, or in the in the second episode, um, when they first, or was it second? It'd have to be because Magneto wasn't in the. First. It wasn't even in the first, right? Okay, or no, didn't he show up at the very end? I mean, like for a second. Uh, so I, it might have been that too, but or I guess it was. Yeah, second season, second episode. So he says, um, um, he they basically Magneto explains like that he's there, that he's he's you know Charles left this will for him, and he's gonna try to like you know take you know be be better and all sort of stuff, and then um. And and uh, Cyclops doesn't want to hear it, and he says like, uh, he goes, I I think, um, oh, I think Xavier's making a big mistake or something like that. Maybe maybe oh no, he says maybe he's wrong in putting you in charge. And immediately he, Magneto's like, uh, finally, like you are catching on to the very thing that I've been <laughs> saying since the beginning is that maybe that Xavier good, yeah. is wrong. Like that, like. Like I almost wish like we could stay in the room with Cyclops a little longer to just like, <laughs> see him like not have anything to say after that. Like, you know, just yeah. like, stunned silence. Yeah. So it was that. And then it was um uh little jabs where like uh Valerie Cooper and all them, you know, they fly in to the mansion and uh and he's and Cyclops is like all proud. He's like, Magneto, uh, you don't have to get all defensive because you know when the heroes come or whatever, when the mm -hmm. good guys show up, and uh, <laughs> but then they all show up with guns, and he's like, yeah. "You were saying like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I was like, oh yeah, like uh, I guess." Uh, well, I think, it, I think it goes, it goes, it goes to kind of what I think is one of the better achievements of Claremont's run, which is that he eschewed the concept of like white knight and black knight like the the, mm -hmm. the the villain in the white and the black hat and the hero in the white hat he really wanted characters with more flaw and more dimension mm -hmm. which i think is why he didn't want the original team or magneto for quite a while he just was like i don't they're mm -hmm. way too like magneto's twirling a mustache and and it's right. very silver age right and i think he mm -hmm. wanted to do something different and yeah. by the time he got around to wanting magneto in his book he, i think his thought was 
how do I humanize this guy? How do I, how do I make him not the mustache twirling villain, but actually a character that we sympathize with, appreciate, and then could follow into battle? Like mm -hmm. that was his, that was his ultimate success. And I think right. the legacy of Magneto and certainly even to today is predicated on that trial of Magneto, him becoming the leader of the X-Men and the journey that he ended up going on as a result of that. And even into Age of Apocalypse, because those fans of Age of Apocalypse, he's leading the X-Men in there. Mm. You know, uh, Xavier's dead. Magneto's in charge of the team. He's banging Rogue. Like, the whole thing. <laughs> like, it's all... That's the whole future that Organic. that, that storyline comes from. That alternate right. way out in the future story is Magneto right. is the good guy. Crazy. Uh, the last part, too, is when he... Um when he brings the coffee to him and he goes, is that poison? He goes, dark words. <laughs> <laughs> that was so clever. A couple people in the chat. Lizzie Liz. I love, I love Cliff is like, like jiving with the, uh, the idea that there's a little homoerotic stuff going on here. More of turning into saber tooth and basically like, Oh, it flirting with, with, with mm -hmm. yes. Wolverine. Yeah. With, yep. uh, brought him the, yes. the beer. Yeah. And yes, Izzy, you're fact on it's a great meme out there that says like the entire x-men comic saga could be read from the perspective of magneto and xavier broke up a long time ago and they just can't get yeah. over it and it's just yeah. like ongoing like all the ongoing drama between their two groups is built and predicated on the fact that they they just couldn't get over their breakup <laughs> uh it's see. broke back mountain it is I gotta but in it. like a now we need to try to kill each other way yeah Oh, he's okay. So he's he's wondering if yeah, if, if the, the end of the third part. I, I don't think so because it seems like the big bad is sinister for this season, and a lot of I, I, and they've done apocalypse in the past. I get the feeling that we're getting a different uh, event. I'm I feel like extinction agenda and marauders massacre are my two guesses. Yeah. But but they have not hinted at what this three parter finale event is going to be. Connor says I heard Morph was originally supposed to be Thunderbird. Not sure if there's any truth to that. I haven't heard anything, but. Interesting. Uh, shout out to the chat. Nine people hanging with us. Oh, yeah. Everybody nice. for hanging. Um, anything else? Uh, just key moments or small stuff that uh, anybody wanted to kind of call out here? Uh, thank you for not changing that beginning and just remaking oh, yeah. it from yeah. the ground up. <laughs> oh, with, okay. with a yeah. banging rendition of the, the original song. I just, they yeah. just nailed it if you didn't know that they nailed it you know what i mean from the yeah. very freaking first second yeah. even mm -hmm. when it says marvel animation or Mar whatever it mm -hmm. says in the beginning yeah. then it has this little like -doom 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 -doom. i'm like oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you knew they had to because of how many legal hoops they had to jump through to finally get the official rights to that song oh, again that song yeah. has been through so many court battles uh, because apparently it's been somewhat proven that it was like a ripoff of a song from I think Germany or the Ukraine or Russia or something. Oh, really? And so, like the 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 issues with this show getting onto the Disney Channel was Disney basically like having to officially buy the rights and, and end the dispute of this song. And so, once you do that, you're gonna use that sucker. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna use that yeah. for forever. <laughs> <laughs> I just paid I, I, for this. I only pray, and I've said this like so many times when we talk about the live action movies. If we can create that freaking beginning in live action, <laughs> oh yeah, I yeah, yeah, I would yeah. just die in the movie theater if I saw. Yeah. It. Yes. <laughs> so I've every every time I want like I'm just making it a thing now. I, I I watch the whole intro every time. I can't skip that. Well, um, you I, should I, because right, if I you mean, did it's... watch the intro to the second episode, thinking it's the same as the first, it's similar. But there's some extra scenes. There's some mm. little things that each, have changed. Each, each one changes it a little. It has some, like there's a Dark Phoenix cameo in, in the second uh, intro episode. where the in first the one episode. didn't have that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I like that. So yeah. now, now you have something to look for. Yeah. As you kind of go and through. There's, like, there's another funny meme I saw of like okay. that in, in the corner, the, the intro playing and in the corner says mm -hmm. skip intro and somebody at the bottom is saying like, who the heck did that? Get that, get rid of yeah. that button. Like, we don't need this button. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You put the skip button, intro button on the intro yeah. the next yeah. show. Yeah. Don't do that. Get out. Okay. Um, one, one other heavy moment for me I wanted to, to just point out here was um, at the end, what, at the end of the second one, as he's talking about, as, as Magneto gives his speech, like, you know, when he's floating up. Oh, two things, actually. One, John, uh, Chet's not here, but John, we got, is that, does that count as like, 
his powers that he uses, like the the the, the, the wagon, bubble, the sphere, the wagon. Yeah, I was thinking of the mm-hmm. wagon and how he brought them. I'm like, this this proves John completely wrong here. They just brought everything. And John doesn't think it can happen. And Sheriff's gonna be super happy about all this because oh the wagon God, can travel. I've got to again just for that now to figure out like where's the metal? Yeah, all the stuff he's lifting up. So it, it actually reminded me a little bit more of like the what they called the atmospheres. Remember in like '99 issue '99, but it was from the sentinels that were yeah, using the sentinels. It, but they yeah. call them atmos uh atmospheres um yeah. so i thought of that too as kind of like them coming right. out um yeah. the but the the quote that he says at the very end and it's really like you know his whole point or a big part of it anyways um but he just says um you know basically he tries he says i'm trying to do better trying to be better please do not make me let you down i thought that was so heavy and so like um like line within a line you know yeah. or, or yeah. meaning within a meaning mm-hmm. and like um, they get it, man. They get it. When right. wrote this show, they totally yes. get it. And they're, yes. they're letting you know that Magneto, he really would love, love yes. to kill you yes. right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the old me would do it. The old <laughs> you me would know? Do it. But he's letting you know, like, yep. it's because of my friend that you yep. guys are alive. And that's yeah. it, period. Yep. So that was, yeah, that was, that was fantastic. Um, oh, uh, the storm piece, like her getting shot. That was, uh, you know, I, I started to see it come in as like the camera was zooming in on Magneto from the perspective of um, Executioner and him not being quite aware, you know, and I'm like, oh, no. And then and Storm was the only one other one there at that time. I'm like, oh, and I just and, and it, I like how they brought it back because they were talking about it when she talked with Jean when they had their moment, um, mm-hmm. Storm and Jean. And she said, like, yeah, I, too, have always wondered what it would be like to just not yeah, have my right. powers or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, my God, like the way they reconnected that. Yeah. Like, Oh, so yeah. clever, man. So oh, clear. Yeah, so Let me and tell you one thing. Yeah. Well, um, when uh, so I never had any X Men figures, right? Mm. So when they came out with the X Men '97 line of figures, the first wave, I went oh. and ordered them just to have X Men figures. Mm-hmm. And then the second wave came out, and I didn't really just jump on it right away, right? And then um, the news came out that the show was really good, so I like freaking ordered all of them really fast. <laughs> you, you right? got them? You yeah, yeah. So, okay. so I ordered the executioner and I'm like, who is this guy? Like I knew him from the comic books, but like I didn't know he was in the cartoon or anything. So when he's in the cartoon, I'm like, oh, I am so happy I got that figure now. That's cool. Nice. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm stoked, man. I'm going to get the whole line. They just sold me, bro. They sold me. <laughs> but you know, also, also Magneto saying to Storm earlier in in the episode in an episode you know you're the closest thing to a goddess that we have yeah. and the fact that he acknowledges yeah. yes, even though yes. she was pretty much his enemy he knows like with charles mm-hmm. they were enemies but there's respect yeah still within and that's the old school that magneto has in him oh yeah that, that a villain like mystique wouldn't have right 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 yep. yeah well he, he 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 loves his kind he yeah. thinks that everything in well, his yeah. kind is beautiful. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. He yes, looks at Storm. Respect. Yeah. Right. He looks at Storm yeah. and he thinks of her as a goddess for real. Mm-hmm. Like you yeah. are our queen. You are yeah. so gorgeous. But from a mutant standpoint, like mm-hmm. your power makes you grand, mm-hmm. you know? Homo superior. Yeah. I think that's in, in the original right. run that he used to say the homo superior. Mm-hmm. Uh, and great point, Jay. Yeah. That one. When she brought all of them up, like you know, yeah. five or six sentinels in the air, like throwing them around like their toys, like that was, mm-hmm. that was all in. It was all in. <laughs> John, John, with the high pitched screaming like this, I just sure. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's sleeping in my house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's clothes over their head. Yeah, uh, yeah. Great. You, I got to dip out of here. Yeah, man. Uh, awesome, Fable. awesome. Yeah. Hanging with you, dudes, man. This hanging with you. Awesome. Hopefully we can do a three and four or something like that. That'd be cool, man. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, Station brother. And for anybody who doesn't yeah. know, Fable's about to go live. Uh, he has a show every Friday night. Go check him out. I put his, late, his links in the description below. Always oh, a good time. Oh, but we're, we're going live on IG tonight, guys. Oh, oh doing IG. Doing it retro IG, style. IG so. What? Nice, so good to do. All right. All right. All right. All right. Have Why a good show. 97 style. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll, I'll be jumping in later, uh, Fable. Oh, yeah. I'll to up see here, all so. you guys. Have a great man. show, man. Yeah. Take care. Station. Man. So, you know, typically um, when you guys do an X-Men show and we kind of get to this era, you start hitting trivia. 
Well, it's time to turn the tables on both of you because I have trivia, X-Men 97 ah, trivia for both what? of you. Okay. Oh, I'm in trouble. And I've kind of curated the questions. I watch to sit- <laughs> I've kind of curated the, the questions specifically to each one of you because I know John has a more, more familiarity with the originals than you do, Justin. So oh, okay. let's do, Justin, let's do your question first, okay? okay? I'm in so much trouble. So do you remember in the intro, Justin, where you have the X-Men running and you have the Evil Mutants running? You remember that, right? Yeah. Okay. So in the original, there was Thunderbird and an unnamed mutant with a pink head. It was rumored to be Gargoyle, but that was disputed. In the new version, those two characters have been replaced by what two villains? Holy crap. And I'll give you a hint to help you out, okay? Lord, I have no idea. They're both female. I don't even know. Oh man, I'm already wrong. I was just thinking. <laughs> I'm already wrong. The first one that came to mind was that. Oh jeez, uh, folks, we're in trouble. Female villains in the intro. Yep. I mean, I'm um, assuming that weren't in the original intro. That weren't. In oh, the original. oh, right, right, right. Well, yeah, that, yeah. Ignore me. I'm just a. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Not doing anything. Yeah, my hands are up here. Not googling. Yeah. Not googling. Um. Oh my goodness. Uh. Well, now I'm trying what's to up? think. Who Bueller is in Bueller? the chat. Who? Oh. What's Bueller, Bueller's like everybody's talking about 1997 and X Men. I want to be talking about this new Roadhouse oh, movie. Kid, dude, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Lizzie says uh, I always thought the the pink guy was uh was Artie. 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 Okay. Artie. Um, one of the one of the Morlocks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's I wanted to point out the Morlocks too. Um. Okay. Oh, all right. So maybe I don't know. If, I don't know. If Callisto's a villain, or she's like looked as, but I'll I'll guess Cal- Callisto is one of them, just because she was in. We saw a glimpse of her in this episode. What's um, up, Caroline? Eh. Darn it! Darn it! <laughs> hey, Lady. So your aunt. Are you ready for your answers? Yeah. 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 Lady Deathstrike. Okay. Oh. And Emma Frost. Oh, uh, I, wouldn't I would not have gotten that. Our favorite prostitute. Oh. <laughs> Dang. oh, man, I need to remember that. Dang. Okay, John, it's time for your question. I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> I have not watched this show since I was in, in, in it's now alive in the 90s. So, you know, it's been okay. like 30 years. So, John, your trivia question also relates to the intro. Okay. The new 97 intro. Yeah. There are two characters that have title cards title name cards that didn't in the original name okay 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 uh a bishop yep that's one okay mm-hmm. okay uh he was confident yeah that first one i had the first one i was ready um you should have taken your time magneto no no well oh, i mean he's, I he's mean, always you could say that but he wasn't side. He doesn't get like a title card, like you said. But he didn't get screen. a title card in the first episode, if you remember. Professor X had one, and Magneto didn't. Right. And then right. Professor, what? That's not who I was really referring to, though. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember who else is like on the team at this point, because uh, all the other Cyclops does, Gene does, Wolverine does, Jubilee does, Gambit Rogue does, does Storm Aurora does, Storm does, yeah, Rogue does. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's the other one morph oh yeah good fall okay there you go I, at least yeah. i got one yeah cliff got it, oh, lady, lady lady got it too. i wasn't yeah. even looking at the Thank chat you. i was not okay. i was doing my best to be I, so <laughs> those are your trivia questions. now you know how it feels <laughs> <laughs> wait wait can we can we say comedy answers though we, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are your comedy answers well comedy yeah. answer was prostitute uh, there it oh is. yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Right. Put me down for a point. But yeah, <laughs> Ryan, man, Ryan is really running the show. He's even he the, really I'm, is. I'm running. <laughs> well, you, put me in the, you put me in this spot here, and I He's feel in the like driver's I am. Seat. I am in the driver's seat. Yeah, I'm down here all. by Wolverine's crotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, look who's Chet. here, the man, Chet I. the man, dude, dude. <laughs> Where were you? He came in at nine. Look at him. This guy. He's, he's mm-hmm. too much on the on the Tuesday schedule. What was it that we needed to ask of him? What was he? What was it? 
I don't remember. Oh. You mentioned Chet earlier tonight. Chet, you I think I think what we said was, <laughs> I wonder what Chet would find more interesting, the conversation that Cyclops and Magneto would have behind closed doors or the conversation Cyclops and JP would have behind closed doors. <laughs> <laughs> or the fact that we were all talking about how uh, apparently mm. Justin's new favorite X-Men is now Cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> two, two, <laughs> two episodes in, oh. and the guy's already... Wait, wait. So, <laughs> look, it, it, when when you can do a moonwalk with your abilities the way he did, like, come right. on, that's just right. fantastic. Um, uh, the thing we were gonna say with Chet, Chet, perfect timing. We were just talking about um, Magneto's wagon uh, scene. <laughs> Uh, what uh, the atmosphere is bringing the, the, the people into outer space. Um, yes. That's your proof there to prove John wrong that the, the whole thing with what did he call? He, he had a name for it. Um, carrying that wagon out in outer carrying space. Carrying that wagon right? all the way across to the yes, Antarctic it, somewhere. It's, it's been proven now with, with all this. So right. um, force. Yeah, bubble. the force bubble. Yes. Thank you. The wow. Force bubble. wow. Look at him spelling it right. And everything. Jeez. I, mean, I don't even oh, know. This my way. goodness. He is. He's on no fire. points. Um, does uh, does Justin know what Scott did to Maddie? Yeah, do you know? I mean, we haven't gotten to that point yet. You he's haven't. still nice to her, and he's married to her, and you know, yeah. knocking her up. It, was, it seems to be you, all love. Justin, and Justin, yeah, let yeah. me say this: wait, yeah. wait, till you see what he does when he finds out that Jean's really alive. Uh, okay, okay. He's not the best husband or father in the world. I think that's uh, ultimately, I, I think, why people get on his case the most is because mm -hmm. he's often written as someone who is not a good husband, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. a good spouse and not putting his significant other in a, in a good place. Yeah. And he certainly marries and then seems to, you know, at this point in comics, you know, he's not like with Madeline anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's definitely still with Jean. Yeah. Um, so it, I think that's what he gets most of the grief for is his really bad romance decision. When before he okay. used to just be a player. Well, that's that's the that's the Scott I know. He just kind of has so girlfriends, play, uh, yeah. you know, showing up. Uh, Lady F says, "Dude, uh, if they keep doing Claremont content, this is going to be a banger." Yeah, hundred percent. There you go. So I I met Chris, Chris Claremont once, and I did ask him. This was mm -hmm. you know several years ago. I said, "Did you like how the X Men animated series did the Dark Phoenix saga?" And he, and he said to me, I mean, this is a little off topic, but this is all I have to relate, you know, to Claremont <laughs> to the to this type of a show. He said, I didn't really watch it. He said, and it, and I didn't watch it because I didn't like Wolverine's voice. And he said, that's why I didn't watch it. He said, what I did see wasn't bad. He said, but I'll tell you what I really liked. He says, I get residuals off of all those episodes and they didn't have to put me down for that. He said they could have gotten away with not paying me residuals off of that, but I do get residuals off of that. He goes, so wow. that's what I'm most happy about. <laughs> that's cool. I mean, yeah. Which seemed like an honest answer. Give me, yeah. give me my money. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Lady F said she liked it on the cartoon. Yeah, me too. It's funny. They've done two motion pictures, but and yet that, the cartoon version it gets it the, better than, than that. Stands the strongest. But isn't that true yeah. in DC animation as well? Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, maybe it's just the the mainstay of animation mm -hmm. is they can get away with more uh, sticking closer to the material yes. versus mm -hmm. the live action stuff. It's harder for them to accomplish that. Yeah, Chris Claremont told me all this after he realized and specifically asked me if I was a CGC witness. And when I said no, then he was a lot more friendlier to me. So of course. yeah, <laughs> I don't know why yeah. he thought I was a witness, but I I, I wasn't. Yeah. There's that. There's yeah. the name badge that said CGC witness on. Yeah, it. must have that to yeah. get, get backstage like Justin does when he's at con, so he can talk <laughs> yeah, to Claremont yeah. unobstructed at like yeah. seven yeah. in the morning. Cut the lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I do. So I do things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I was gonna say before. I don't. We didn't talk about this, but the. Oh, I, I like said it briefly, but like the. Um, oh, two things actually. The Roberto scene where he says. Um, where he's first being like cuffed up by the bad guys. And he's like, listen, I didn't ask for this. I wasn't born mm -hmm. this way. Um, I like that they had that, and especially in the beginning. And, and you know, knowing that, that there's going to be audiences that either might be brand new to X-Men or, you know, I haven't watched it in forever, but just to get the point across of, um, of that's how like a lot of people felt about mutants, whether they were a mutant themselves or they were, you know, or, you know, or being on the, the bad guy side of, of thinking, right. you know, but, but what the chat said earlier, that's a throwback to what happened in the first episode of the, of what would you believe? Right. That's uh, a throwback to oh. that oh, because okay. she's like, I didn't, I, 
I can't help being this way. Oh, uh, okay. That oh, first so episode even, is all well, about no, Jubilee's no. powers coming out and the X-Men yeah. having to rescue her from the Sentinels. It okay. really reminds me of X-Men 129, except it's not Kitty, it's Jubilee. Right, okay. And instead of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, yeah. like, or instead of the, sorry, and the Hellfire, Hellfire Club trying to recruit mm -hmm. her, it's Sentinels trying to kill her. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, that's cool. I mean, I like I like that they gave that that nod to that then. So th that's the other thing I'm kind of missing out on is like the nods. I'm sure there's a ton more that kind of just reference. Oh, yeah. Probably will be mm -hmm. a ton more yeah. that kind of reference the original stuff, which means this weekend I'm just maybe I have to binge the entire original. You should. <laughs> the original uh, set there. Get to work. Um, I don't have my, yeah, I, I kind of have a, a open weekend, at least at least tomorrow for, for a bit. <laughs> um, the other thing I was going to mention was, um, and I don't know the storyline. Again, this is just, you know, I haven't read it yet, but the whole thing he mentioned about Genosha. Genosha? Oh, yeah, Genosha. Yeah. 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 So go so bring in so because we saw Callisto and Leech. I was glad we saw Leech. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, like cool that I knew these, you know, some of these mutants from uh, recent reads. Um, but then he talked about like sending them off to Genosha, and I I know that name. I don't know what else ties into that. I, it made me think of like Krakoa, kind of. Um, there's a it, great story in the original yeah. one about Genosha. In and the, been, oh, in the, in the comics, there's been lots of storylines centered around the idea of a that I heard of. Yeah, a nation of mutants or a nation that. But it's is... not like Krakoa. No, because it's not. They're not on the living island of Krakoa. Oh, they, oh, you know, oh right. Okay. They're they're a, an actual island. It's okay. it's more similar to Latveria than anything, but you know, Doctor oh, Doom's okay. island. Uh, and there's different story arcs where like Magneto's ruling it, and it's like he's running it like oh. Doom would. And then there's storylines where the mutants are being rounded up and put into concentration camps. Like Extinction Agenda oh. is that kind of a storyline. Oh, okay. And the mutant island is basically being overrun by you know these human forces. Uh, so it's been it's been a a plot device, I would say, in in X Men okay. for a long time. I always thought there was like this negative connotation about it, like something bad happened, and maybe that's one of those stories. Well, in the in, in the new X Men by Grant Morrison, that which I just read, the very first issue is like a nuclear strike on the island and everybody dying. Oh. Uh, oh, and 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 including Magneto, who tries to stop it but is unable to. Mm -hmm. uh, and the the Grant Morrison run uses that as a springboard to the entire run that he does, uh, okay. where it all starts with this villainess coming out of nowhere and trying to wipe out all the mutants at once because most of them were living on that island, and they all oh you know she is successful and and basically almost kills all the mutants on Earth. Oh wow, okay. I got some reading to do, you know. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great run. It's a great run, and 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 a, a somewhat self-contained story. And but mm. that's the kickoff. That's like right there. That's that's how it all starts. And okay. it, it gets rid of Magneto. It gets rid of a lot of characters you might know or love, and then goes in a very unusual uh, storyline. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Chet. You got to make priorities, man. YouTube uh, first. You yeah, will feel yes. a lot better if you sent me an X Men One Hundred Two. I'll take a couple. And Justin, you would feel I was waiting. if you could send me that GSX one because I need that. I need wait, your copy still, of it. Wait, it still didn't get to you? That's that's a little concerning. It should you, should have you, arrived by now. Check like. your post office. Yeah, you put um, you put uh, insurance on it, right? Yeah, always. Okay, uh, good. <laughs> it did come back twice already, saying return to sender. But um, <laughs> That's what that Elvis said. Ryan yeah, don't, yeah. Ryan don't want. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's my favorite. One of my favorite Elvis songs, Return to Sunday. Return to Sunday. Yeah, it's my, it's my dad's unknown. My dad, uh, it's one of his favorites. Yeah, really? Right. See, yeah, a little trivia there. Yeah, a little trivia there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll tell you, know, one of his, one of his Ooh, favorites. Uh, Chet just had surgery today. Take care, man. He, yeah, so I know he was out. Um, then was out then there. this would be a good time for him to send me that X Men 102. <laughs> For safety's sake. For safety's <laughs> Ryan, sake. Ryan's like, like you said you were going to. <laughs> like you said you're going to with the GSX one. Oh, uh, chat. Yeah, I hope you get better soon, man. Yep. He had just shown uh, me uh, um that he got a <laughs> he just uh fire shots fired. <laughs> I, I I tried I tried to give oh, he said which one he, is little... okay you're clearly on pain meds you don't <laughs> yeah, remember you are. what you don't remember what issue 102 is when everything we say on. on the Omni X Men of like I think that was back when and he's like issue 156 yeah page <laughs> page seven panel four <laughs> <That> guy. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, the Benny Gesserit voice on you, exactly from Dune. Use the voice. That was great. That was a great movie. Um, all right, anything else here? Or we could wrap up. We'll no, wrap I'm good. Up. No, it was fun. Thanks for having me on. I really do appreciate. It. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, appreciate it. And everybody in the chat right now, thanks for taking some time to hang oh, with us. Hopefully, by the, I guess there is one more thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just to plug my channel for a minute, but I know I have X Men fans. Uh, I dropped a video on Tuesday afternoon, and I'll just, there's a little X Men in my video this oh, afternoon. Okay. And Good I'll deal. just kind of give it a, a, a passing. Whoa. Whoa. So we're sweating a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> Right, like trying to oh, oh look at the oh nice burn baby burn. So if you want to oh, see some more goodness. of that action, wow, it's on my uh, latest video on my YouTube channel. Very nice. Which the link is down below for your Thank YouTube you. channel. So make sure you follow uh, Magic Lasso. And uh, as a reminder for Omni X Men fans, uh, John and I will um, be off next. Uh, technically next two weeks or at least next week we might have something the week after um but then we'll be back uh april 9th for uh picking up at 180 what are we at john 189 189 one, 189 we'll be picking yep. up uh on april 9th so be ready for that if you haven't already been yeah so john uh tell I'm, you're i've got a ton of youtube coming up over the next uh few days so i got two shows on my channel tomorrow i'm doing my morning show and then i'm doing a nighttime show with lady fantastic and gore vidal and robert Ooh. galvin we're doing nice. uh, Oppenheimer, and we're discussing the ethics of science and invention, and 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 having a full fun chat with scientists and about science. Uh, but very cool. But in Tuesday night, when I should be doing Omni X Men, I'm going to be uh, talking Batman. Uh, nice. I busted out and completely read through both volumes in my absolute uh, Batman Year One, very so nice. that I can hang out with Chris on Lost in Comics and just break this sucker down. Uh, sorry, X Men fans. This might be the greatest comic book I've ever read. Ooh, sorry. Whoa! Sorry. I mean, it's certainly up there. It's. Uh, I'll mean, be in I've the got, chat. I've got. Yeah, I'll be in the chat. I got two other trades for it. Uh, I got all the single issues. I got a slab. Uh, I got the yeah. absolute. I'll probably get that artist edition that's coming in July. John's like, yeah. I got a tattoo over here. Mm -hmm. I got right. Tattoo. <laughs> My daughter's Bruce and Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Walker and Texas uh, Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, cool. All right. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think I think that's it. I'll um I have some card shows I'll be at over the weekend. So that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna do some binging, maybe some reading, um, some more one piece for me. I'm on chapter, sorry, volume 13, one piece. Um, so that's that's where I'm at. But uh, -oh. uh he says wait it. until you're hearing away what I'm giving away at the end of the season. Ooh. Oh, for Omni X Men? All right. See, this is we got to get him to, to get it on paper now, John. While yes. He's, while he's looping. Yeah. yeah send a picture um, to Ju uh, Justin and I yep. so that we can hold you to it. Yes. <laughs> confirm. Please confirm. And then send it to my house. And a then bust a cyclops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good lord! Yeah, yeah, we're all in trouble. <laughs> all right, gang. Well, we'll wrap this up again. Appreciate everybody in the chat, or if you're uh, watching this on the replay, thank you so much. Hit that like button on the way out. Till next time, we will talk to you later.